you on, Nance? Yep. Yeah, Gene All right, Gene friends, TV. we are here at Bilderberg. We're going to do what we did last time. We're going to talk to some people and ask them what brought them out here. And I was out here in 2012. About uh, what, Sue? And the crowds have gone down. Yeah. What, what, what do you think about all of it? Well, um, you know, like you know, like the Bible says, it's a spiritual battle. You know, um, we're dealing with people that are being led by a high spirit of wickedness. That's so you honest. know, so that's why we're here to, to announce the word of Jesus Christ, the Amen. one true Savior, the one true God, My Yahweh, spirit. to stand against this evil. I'm talking about these people are behind the... Um, what the people want to call Pizza Gate, the pedophilia. And um That's if you didn't true. know, right here in this area in Washington DC, this is this this area is is the heart That'd of the all piece. the kidnappings of the children, especially in my area, from Alexandria, Fairfax to um That's Manassas. Yeah. Um there's so many kids that go missing, especially during around um a time of um Halloween and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we're in the heart. This whole area right here is for people who work for the government. All the houses are built. This whole area was solely built to house everybody who works in the government. So, you know, so we out here just to stand against the New World Order. As you see, um, my shirt says, Jesus trumps Satan's New World Order. Because, um, you know, Trump is, is, is what I call as somebody who's going to just give us um, uh, uh, some fresh air. For us to get our stuff together. because we know, Yeah, because we know the New World Order is not going to go down easy. But... As the Bible, if anybody's familiar with the story of Joseph, there was um, seven years of plenty and then came seven years of famine. During Trump's administration, this is our seven years of plenty. For all those who are woken up and we believe in surviving, you know. and get your survival stuff, get yeah. your families in order, get yeah. your spirit yeah. right with Jesus, because after Trump leaves, mm. it's going to get turned back up. After you know what I'm saying? Eight, He's basically the dog at you your know. front door holding the robbers at bay. Right now, he's barking, and, right. and people always want to um, complain about what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he says he's draining the swamp, but we have to understand: in order to drain the swamp, you got to get your hands dirty. Yes, um, he's playing at a, um, a a level of chess that even the smartest minds won't even know um, where he's playing at because it's at so high level. You know, um, the spirit it's a spiritual force that is working, is really guiding him. I think half the times he doesn't know what he's doing; he just thinks he knows he's doing what's right. But when you look at it, sometimes. At first, people would start complaining, like, what is Trump doing? But yeah. then at the end, at the end, he was right. even the news media would have to agree with him. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's familiar with the, um, the Kim Clement prophecies, he prophesied that Trump would be in there two terms. And that he will come in and everybody would say, oh, this guy is hot blood. He's, he has too much temper. But then he said that even the news media will start to parrot his words. So every time Trump says, oh, France or Europe is going to shit or something, mm -hmm. guess what? Attack happens right after they say, "What is he talking about?" But then they try to say, "Oh, he caused it." No, what he's doing is, is that every time he says something, God is giving you literally evidence that really backs up every word he says. So you know, he just pulled out of the climate control thing. You know, because really we all know that's BS. Um, down with the parasite. yeah, polar bears are actually um, um, increasing. Yes, um, because all their gang, gang members is going yeah. on. You know, so um, I grew up in Falls Church, and I grew up outside of Kumar, and that's uh, a place where there's nothing but gang members, Southside Locos, MS-13. All that. And yeah. um, we couldn't even walk through there unless you had a couple of people with you. So I'm not someone who grew up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I came from Section 8, you know, so I know what it's like to live in the ghettos, and all the ghettos are owned by Democrats, all you right. know, and um, people always want to complain, you know, I about know. Republicans and yes, they're shady Republicans, but if you look at the platform that the Republicans are supposed to be built, built on, the, the actual foundation, it was to free the slaves. Yes, so I'll talk to all my brothers and sisters, all, all those of color, Latino, whatever. The Republican Party, no matter if you don't agree with the politicians, it's because there's a void. There's not enough um, minorities speaking to keep up the cause. See, back in the day... All re all blacks were Republicans, yep. you know. That's yep. that's a fact, you know. So um, I'm I'm just calling out to all my brothers and sisters. Um, we have to stick to the platform that allows the God of this nation to rule, and it's not the Democratic Party because they actually remove God of the platform plenty of times and only put it in the same face. But we can see the heart of those people is to remove God, to destroy the family, destroy the unity between husband and wife, man and woman, so we can be fruitful and multiply. Because you know why? As it says in Genesis. We're created in the image of God. 
and they hate God, so therefore they're going to hate the image that walks on this earth. So they're out to kill us. They want to destroy us. GMO, mm -hmm. vaccines, fluoride, whatever water, they do, whatever they want. Um, pharmaceutical drugs. Um, legalize the marijuana so the children that have ep epilepsy and so forth can have that true medicine. Yeah. And um, you'll see cancer and all the BS that we're suffering out here go down because yeah. we'll be having real herbs yeah. and, and real freedom to do as Americans with the Constitution and the forefathers want us to do. So that's GM for GM, yep. and see you next time. Shalom yep. and God bless. Yeah, like, not, not, not by emotion. emotion. True. What's, your, um, what's yours? Uh, look up the correct views on YouTube. Correct, correct views. Yep. I'll Thank be you. posting we'll give you as soon as I get back. I'm in Thank camp. You. Thank so you, oh, oh, that's yeah. okay. Have a blessed yeah. one. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.